Now we'll look into the login feature of the sample flight reservation application provided by QTP. First let's open the application. Now we can see a login box and here we have to enter the agent name and password. By default password is Mercury. So first we'll enter an agent name, tutorial, it can be anything and password has to be Mercury. But let us enter a wrong password to see the message. It says it's incorrect password and please try again. So now let's enter the correct password which is Mercury. So now it's logging in and the application opens up. So we'll close the application for now and we'll try to automate this feature using QTP. So first we'll open QTP. I get a license warning and I'll just continue. Here I get a added manager. Now since I'm not using a web based application and this is a visual basic application, I have unchecked web and I've given I have checked uh, visual basic and ActiveX. So I'll click OK. So I'm using Quick Test, Quick Test Professional version 11 on 11 service pack 1. So now a startup page opens up and to record a new test I'll click on new and test so I can also use the shortcut provided that's control plus n and a new test text uh, test window opens up so to record a new test we'll click on record which is here and a run a record and run settings uh, box opens up for, for the time being let's not do anything to it and let's just click ok now we can see that it's recording and we can see a recording blinking light at the bottom of our application so now uh, now QTP actually tries to record every uh, thing I type everything I click so, so that it knows what I have done so now I'll open the application I select the agent name I'll click tutorial and then the password I'll enter mercury and you can see that all the steps are written automatically by QTP and then I'll click OK now we can see the step of click 56,142 that is actually because I clicked randomly inside the application and even that is recorded so now let's close this application and let's stop the recording so we'll do it with the garbage step and this is a known problem in QTP 11 in Windows 7 at least that it doesn't record a system util dot run statement system util dot run basically means that it uh, it is the first statement which tells QTP which application to open and what to do with the application so that is not recorded in this system so we'll manually type it and it's pretty simple we'll just have to write system capital S system and capital U util dot and we can see automatically here dot run and it says runs a file or application I'll enter and then I'll have to give the application location okay and that application location is here it's in my HP quick test professional samples app and I'll be using flight 4a so I'll, I'll select this and I'll paste it here and it's a flight it's an application uh, uh, this thing location okay so if I like flight 4a dot exe and then I give a comma and then open and close double quotes you can just by heart this step because it's the same for all your tests and then give the directory not the application see if we have entered flight 4a here you don't have to enter flight 4a here just the directory where this application is found and then close the double quotes another comma and then open this says that I have to open this file which is located in this directory so now 
I have recorded a test. So let us run this test and see what happens. So to run this test, I'll click on run. And I'll just click temporary run results folder. And now we can see that each test each step is done slowly it happens very fast because it's automated yes. so a login which took us a lot of time is done within seconds using QTP and now a results window will open up shortly The results window is opening up. It takes some time to open the results window. In the meanwhile, if you want, if we want the procedure to be a little slower, what we can do is we can add some statements called wait. So what it does is it tells QTP to wait for so many seconds before going to the next step. Okay, our results viewer has opened, and here we can see the results of this particular test it gives me all the details about this test and the process involved is shown in this side if I click on this button expand all I will know what are the processes that took place and it gives me the whole detail about it it gives me the password which I had entered if I had used a data table, it will show me the data table. But for now, let's just close it. So to make this test a little slower, I can add wait statements. So I'll just write wait for seconds. I'll say three seconds. After entering the password, wait for two seconds. So now if I run the test, you can see what happens. I click OK. tutorial now you can see that it's waiting for three seconds and then it entered the password it waits for two seconds and then clicks ok sec ok button and then it goes to the application now our results window will open up this time it's faster yes and if i want i also have the uh, opportunity to print this result and I can see the print option here and we will close this and now if I if I want to parameterize it say for example here I just entered one tutorial and one password but I want this test to be for at least three three usernames and three passwords so what I can do is I'll go to the keyword view and here in the agent name I click at this button here value configuration options here I can choose whether I want a value in this agent name text box to be just a constant or a parameter so if it's a parameter I can enter it in the data table I'll choose the name as agent name from the global sheet ok and I'll choose the password the same way as a parameter password and enter ok so once I have done this if I click on the export view we can see that there are some changes here it says the data table agent name from global sheet and the same way for the password too so now I can enter some more usernames tutorial 1 password is capital M C U R Y another username as H P QTP11 and username as password as small m e r c and the others in capital letters just to have some different values and now if I run the test let's see what happens okay and now you can see it is highlighting the 
username and the password which it is using at that particular point of time it does it once and it follows all the steps closes it and then it goes to the second one so you can see that it has changed it is highlighted the second row and it has logged in and now it goes to the last row of the data table now we can see that it's slow because I have used two wait statements we can remove this and the test becomes much faster and the test is completed and now we'll get the results and now we can see the results of this particular test here it says iteration, iteration 1, iteration 2, iteration 3 I get the whole details of all the iterations and also the password and the data table used it's here now since I'm I'm in the last step I'm in the third iteration it says it highlights the third data uh, row of uh, agent name and password which I have used and this explains the basic login feature through QTP